ERE 395 number 117 for Anthony Fenwick. This is video three. A few days ago, I did the camshaft bearings and yesterday's video, I forgot to put this in. So a couple slides for that. Then a staff designed cam, it's an Urson cam and that's on a billet core. The water pump drive gear, I just refurbished that and I put a, a Timken bearing or this SKF bearing in. A YouTube uh, viewer gave me a tip and gave me the part number for that. That's the timing set, the Cloy's Extreme, and I've recently I've been pulling the cam pin out while I put this on, it makes it a lot easier, and then I put the cam pin back in. Usually I shorten it a, just a little, a little bit before I put it back in. I shorten it because uh, if you do a torque head, the sensing kit, usually sometimes it, the pin will will push against it. All right, so anyway, today for the video number three, that's a Pioneer uh, hub or a JEGS hub that the customer is using. And compared to the ATI, of, of course, it's just a little shorter. It's shorter by the amount of that spacer. So if you are using a reluctor or there is a 24X reluctor in, inside the timing cover or a stock reluctor, do not use the spacer. If you have no reluctor, then put the spacer in. It takes the place of a reluctor. This is a, the dyno setup. This, the customer isn't gonna use this, but it's what I put in for the dyno. I get top dead center and get that pointer right to the zero. Here we are, the nice part of this engine, the AFR heads. These are the uh, part number 1031-1031. These things make good power for a reasonable price. It's a, let's see, that's a Molly gasket, which is a copy of the Mr. Gasket or the, the factory GM 26 thousandths thickness. All right, the heads are on or going on and I'm greasing up the, the head bolts. They're ARP head bolts. I use a uh, high pressure grease just under the head and I use ARP thread sealant because uh, all of the bolts go into the water jacket. I forget the brand name of that high pressure lube, but it's really good stuff. I make sure I minimize the, the use of a molly of like ARP's molly lube. When that gets into the oil, it doesn't do well for the uh, ring seating. And I'll come back tomorrow and do it again. Cylinder heads are on and the head bolts are torqued. Okay, now the rockers, the comp pro magnums, uh, AFR supplies an adjustable set of pushrod guide plates. So each of those were kind of adjusted to be right over the tip of the valve. So that makes it for a real nice alignment. The motor's almost done. It's going to go to the engine dyno and get uh, the ring seated. I'm expecting 500 plus horsepower because of the cylinder heads. So check back in a week or so. Uh, Jim Morgan's pretty busy, so it's gonna be a while before I get a, uh, the engine on the dyno, but check back. This is Carl Elwine, Elwine Engines. Take care.